Trumpers pay money to attack Joe Biden punch dummy. Here it is. Put up the picture full mass. You think our biggest concern are undocumented workers? These individuals are literally paying money in order to commit violence against a proxy, an imagery of the current United States president. I want you to imagine this in a different context. Let's imagine everybody being black. Let's imagine them being young. Let's imagine them not being Republican. Uh, they would say, oh, these are thugs. This is violent. This is uncivilized. Per the Kansas Reflector and the Kansas City Star, on Friday, attendees at the Johnson County Republican Party's grand old party even physica- uh, physically attacked an effigy of President Joe Biden. After photos and video surfaced on social media, it prompted the state party's former chair to call for the resignation of the current leaders and call some Kansas GOP to distance themselves from what they're calling extremists who have seized control of the party. Extremists, in all due respect, they are the average Republican now. You have no party anymore. All you have is Trump. That's all you have is, have left now is Trump. Nothing else. Um, the numbers are very clear. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. All right, so the Biden bashing. Um, let's put them up full, bat, full mass here. This is interesting. Uh, the Biden bashing antics were part of a fundraising event at the Overland Park Convention Center. Look at Ted. And also, disgraced former Kansas <laughs> Attorney General Phil Klein were the main attractions. You don't get to fall down in the Republican Party, you fall up. The video posted by Mullen Lab Truth to the far right social media platform Rumble shows highlights from the event, which also included karate chops to blocks that read, let's go Brandon, code for a profane insult of Biden. The video, which has now been unpublished, shows several people at the event attempting to roundhouse kick to the mannequin bust with a Biden mask and let's go Brandon t-shirt. Another woman is seen beating the president's face with a foam bat. The reflector notes, Kansas GOP chairman Mike Brown, an an election denier who narrowly won the leadership position a year ago, touted the fundraiser for weeks in official party emails with no mention of this mannequin. General admission was listed at $100 with a premier seat costing $300. In an email to the Kansas City Star, Maria Holliday, the chairwoman of the Johnson County Republican Party said, quote, this booth was hosted by a karate school to promote their self-defense class. I, I gotta tell you something, uh, madam. When I tell you, you all deserve an E for effort, the spin that comes from the Republican Party, just remarkable. I mean, damn, who would have thought of that? Let's have it being sponsored. Let's have it sponsored by a karate school. That way, when we go viral, we could just say, hey, it's for a karate school, self defense. The incident prompted swift condemnation from both parties who denounced it as, a, as political violence. On Saturday, former GOP chairman Mike Cuckleman led the backlash on his Facebook where he called for the resignations of Brown Holiday. Uh, He also alleged attendees were invited to beat the Biden effigy in exchange for a donation. Quote, I've been a Republican my entire life and I'm disturbed 
that anyone would think this is acceptable conduct. Cuckelman said, as a Republican, we are all very upset, disappointed, angry. Apple, when they did, uh, when they did that to President Trump, and we can't have a double standard. Well, sure you can. You're a Republican. <laughs> you kind of live in a double standard scenario every day. Uh, Senate Democratic Minority Leader uh, Dina Sykes encouraged GOP elected officials to condemn the incident. Quote: Political violence of any kind is vile and wrong. And we cannot afford to brush it under the rug when others encourage it. If my colleagues in the legislature agree that this conduct is shameful and dangerous, they cannot turn a blind eye to this behavior. Their silence is consent. And madam, you are 100% correct. All right, um, they organized this. You gotta think about what went into it. It's a lot of planning that goes into making something like this happen. They gotta get the mannequin from somewhere, first of all. They have to set the booth up. Uh, people have to be in charge of collecting the money. Individuals are running this as a scheme, as a system to get more money. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, it was posted intentionally. There was no gotcha moment here. They were proud of what they did until the audience, us people, responded adversely to it. This is what's in their hearts. This is what is in their minds. Mr. Mayor, thoughts? I mean, the president name is not Brandon. We know exactly what they're saying. <laughs> right. The nastiness that is in that T-shirt and that scuff. I mean, the, the idea that we are in a presidential election year with people already show they have the ability and desire to be violent, showing up to, to make a donation to beat the, the president is absolutely disgusting to me. And we shouldn't make small of this, especially when we see a rise in attack on elected officials uh, in this country by the right. And we can't do bothism when we talk about this. It is this, it is distinctly the right that are attacking elected officials or trying or plotting to do so. And we've seen January 6th and we've seen what happened. There's a book that was just came out recently. It's called uh, White Rural Rage. And in that book, they talk about how white people, specifically those in rural spaces just like this, have a more, a higher uh, per chance to be uh, racist xenophobic, anti-immigrant, and violent. And they are least patriotic, even though they own the most flags and t-shirts with flags on them. It does not matter what you say and how you show up, uh, especially when you have this type of contradiction you're forced to deal with. Yep, there you go. Well said. We shall see um, if condemnation actually comes from this or not.